Today's devotional call, the enemy is closer than you think. With all that's going on in our world today, you have to wonder, what is the greatest enemy to my living the life that God is calling me into? You see, we tend to start out each day with a routine that we've embraced, full of good intentions and following a plan to make the day a good day. We might even take the time to pause and read scripture, listen to comforting music or do our daily devotional before we do anything else. And then we rise and look at the enemy face to face. And we're confronted with the most formidable adversary that is truly the only force that can stand in the way of everything that God has for me. The one thing that is sabotaging my progress, the one that is keeping my dreams from becoming reality. Do you know who that is that is constantly reminding me of all my failures, my shortcomings, and all of my weaknesses? Yeah, you've guessed it. It's me. And you and I share the same enemy, don't we? They may look different on the outside, but it really is the same. I am my own worst enemy, and you are yours. I get into my own head, and I give negative thoughts free range and access to my emotions and my resolve. And I have found that I can even talk myself out of believing and obeying God. When I fail at something, I'm quick to absorb the blame. And when I have a victory, I allow myself to doubt that it will last past the moment. You see, I don't need Satan to remind me of my issues. I do a good enough job of that myself, but it doesn't have to stay that way. And today, I am claiming that it stops now. When God forms us, his plan for us was put into motion. He knew that we would face disappointment. He knew that we would struggle with doubt and fear. And this is why he reminds us that he will never leave us or forsake us. And he is not done writing our story. Take the words of Philippians 1, 6 to heart. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ returns. I said a prayer for you. Please say a prayer for me and my family, especially my bride Melanie, and fight on.